all right guys welcome back to the channel um, on today's video I'm gonna go ahead and try to install a rear view wiper on the hatchback All right guys, welcome back. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, this is Project Goodspeed where we mainly just focus on dailying my hatchback. Whether that means getting brand new parts or junkyard parts, the main goal is to get this car up and running. Damn, it's locked. Basically, the main goal is to get the car as comfortable and as back to OEM as I possibly can. With the market being the way it is, genuine OEM Honda parts are very expensive and sometimes you just can't find them. So you make do with what you have. Now I know it's been a while since my last video, but um, an update here, the Civic actually had a coolant issue and I didn't really get a chance to record any footage on that simply because I was in a hurry and I was a little upset because of it. You know, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, the, the Civic seems to be having a minor small little coolant leak but essentially what happened was the one of the heater pipes in the back of the engine bay that goes lengthwise essentially just man, decided to have a leak for no apparent reason and it turns out it was one of the o-rings i believe but i managed to go to the pick and pull pick up a new pipe and install it and replace the heater hose rings the o-rings I think I don't I don't know if it's a heater I can't remember exactly what it's what it was called but it was a pain in the ass I had to do that I had to remove the coolant install new one and then check it for any coolant leaks and there was but after wiggling it around and applying some sealant I managed to plug up the leak and we no longer have a coolant issue in today's video I'm gonna install a rear view wiper because this is the way it was when I bought the car it's exposed and it has these uh, I had I tried many different bolts to try to uh, get this thing to hold steady, but no matter what I tried, it does. They always seem to come loose. Now these are locking nuts, so the way it is now, it's essentially the best that it's going to get. But sometimes I'll, I'll just be driving and I can hear this thing just rattling. So essentially, what I'm going to do is just replace this because I managed to come across a hatchback that was in the junkyard, and I managed to pull a bunch of stuff because this, the way it looks, it, it bothers me, and also. The latch being uh, loose sometimes is very annoying. It's very loud in there sometimes. You know, when I hit a speed bump, you hear nothing but this thing just hitting and it's very annoying. So here we have the cover and we have the wiper blade. Unfortunately, not in the best condition. It's all but useless, but I can just replace the wiper blade if I can find one. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this up. Oh, I also managed to get this uh, the wiper blade lever because I think mine might be going bad and I just want to get ahead of it just in case now this install is relatively easy it just has this one large bolt down there you see it's kind of loose and the other one is these bolts here which hold on to the lever that I have back there and it just bolts straight in through there now I've actually had a had my eye on um, trying to replace this for years that I've like essentially since I've had the Civic but this particular part is kind of difficult to find I don't know what it is about it but I guess maybe people just get rid of them and they just don't like it I kind of do during the rainy season like kind of now here in California it would really come in handy so let's see if we can get this installed without any trouble hopefully this might be the video where nothing goes wrong because it's a very simple install and I really would like something to not go wrong during one of these videos. Now, I really don't think we'll need too many parts. Honestly, I think it's just a screwdriver, a crescent wrench, and just basic uh, ratchet set. Now, given that this is a Honda, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the size bolt is a 10. Oh, that's a nine. That's a 10. Let's see. And I was right. Damn it. Maybe if I go fast. Ah. It's not working. Oh, I think I think it is working. 
All right, that's pretty much it. So this is the lever basically to lift your hood. So next up is this flat uh, nut here. We're just gonna get that to size and it should come off pretty easy. There's not that many rings on there. I'll catch it just in case it falls, but I'm not gonna. Now that should basically be everything holding it in. So, yep. And then we just unclip that and then we'll be done. Just like that, we got the old motor out. Wire exposed, all I'm gonna do now is just maybe clean up this area on both sides. I don't know if this comes off or, oh, it does. But I mean, I don't really need to take this off really. The seal's fine. So I'm just gonna clean it up and we're gonna get installed the new piece. I managed to clean up the window. Now I gotta clean. Now I wiped this down and I'm thinking, I'm probably just gonna apply some of uh, Maguire's Ultimate Black Restorer just to get that shine and gloss back into it. Now, it only needs to be applied to this bit because this one's actually gonna be up against the window. So it's not really gonna be visible. So I should just be able to apply it to this and it should look nice. I applied it to both of them. I figured, what the hell? These are the uh, Allen wrench. Uh, oh no, these are star pattern, I guess. But these, look, they have double the lock nut here, I guess. It's either, at least, at least one. But these are the ones I couldn't find. I don't know what Lowe's or Home Depot were thinking, but they don't have them. So I had to use some locking nuts with some other bolts, but they are not as effective as these. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cover this up. Oh wait, no, 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 I have to install it first, ha, <laughs> idiot. See, you get so carried away sometimes, I get ahead of myself and that's how I make mistakes by thinking I know what I'm doing. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and basically do this in reverse order. So basically just clip it in then I'm gonna go ahead and install the crescent wrench bolt and then the handle. Okay, so I managed to install it and actually align it now. So it's, it should be straight now, straight down. So I just lift it up, perfect. All that's left now is to install these two bolts here that basically just cover this up and it'll look nice and clean. Boom, check it out. It's pretty much stock right there. That's OEM, bro. See this, this is this is what we strive for here. That nice clean look where you can't even tell that this has 20 something years off the factory line. Check it out, look at that. And this is from a junkyard too. Now I've got a nice cover on it. Although granted, probably could have just replaced the cover, like found a cover I didn't need to take the whole thing out. I could have probably just replaced the cover and maybe replace the bolts, but I mean, that's that's besides the point. It looks cool. Now we just have to test to make sure it actually closes. No! What did I fuck up on? Why does nothing ever go my way? Is it this? I mean, I didn't touch this. You guys saw those bolts were there. I, I didn't touch them. This might be the issue. My locking mechanism. Oh man. That's gonna be a little harder to fix. Okay, so I found out the problem. Okay, so you see the gap between the latch and the plastic here? You see how it's, what is that? That's almost, that's probably like half an inch. There's over there, it's not as, as wide so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to loosen these bolts and just kind of drag it down just a little bit maybe till it rides this plastic cover and hopefully that'll be enough clearance to actually latch onto my locking mechanism all right guys so in terms of me messing up it's not that bad really um, so essentially the problem was this new uh piece here see it has these two bolts and one solid piece and they are attached into one slot in the back and it's really not movable you can loosen it but it'll just be to remove it and you can't shift it up and down now the 
problem I think was, you see how this one is essentially cut out. So these bolts basically shift the hinge up and down, which I can't imagine. That's probably why I was getting these loud noises when I'd hit up uh, speed bump over, I don't know, how, however long. Eventually over time, it would just loosen up. So what I did is I would just get stronger bolts and just tighten it up. Instead, now I basically just removed the cover and shifted the locking mechanism closer to the rear and now now it closes perfect look not even doesn't even make a noise anymore oh that's that's exactly what we wanted now the reason I one of the main reasons I did this install other than to just get a windshield wiper in the rear was just to uh, just to solve that loud noise that I would always get. It's annoying, you know, I like the car to be, to ride nice and smooth and not hear a constant rattling every time I go over a, just a tiny little speed bump. But now that I managed to uh, solve it, we're gonna put everything right back together and call it a day. All right, so I've put all the trim pieces back together and I covered up our motor. Now, let's see if it closes. What the fuck? Okay, I am, I am at a loss <laughs> right now. So it, it closes without the trim, but how, did, how does that work though? Be, oh, is, it, is this piece keeping it from actually making contact? I don't understand. Maybe you just gotta slam it harder with the trim. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I guess now I just have to close it a little harder, but no worries, all, the better for it because at least now I know I have a good seal all the way around and I don't have anything loose or shaking or rattling while I'm driving. So all that's left now is just to install this little cover piece, this one bolt and my wiper. Now all that's left is to tighten it and thanks to good old Honda, we know basically every single bolt on this car is a 10 millimeter. So the front ones work. Let's see if I can get the rear ones to work. Yay! I better stop it, it might scratch it. So they work. Um, I Unfortunately, because of the spoiler, I don't have the uh, mist option because I had to remove the little nozzle thing that sprays the mist because there's no way to attach it to on the uh, backyard special. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and just call that a success. Unfortunately though, today is not the day where everything went right and I, I also didn't didn't really install this I, don't, I can't remember if I had to take the part the entire dash I mean the uh, cover plate there but hmm I mean currently mine works we just saw so there's really no big issue to replace this however I do have one now just in case compared to the size of the window it's 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 pretty much not even useful honestly but I, I like the way it looks Looks kind of it looks stock uh, so what, it'll just go right there. It is. How are you supposed to see when you only have, well, I guess it's better than nothing, right? So, I mean, oh, it's whatever. All right, guys, so I've installed the wiper blade in the rear and now it matches the two in the front. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm Jay and this is Project Good Speed, and I hope you like it. Stay tuned and subscribe for more. Oh, and have a good day. Peace.